Hello everyone, this is a Vio UX. As you may know, it's a very small ultra mobile PC, as they're called. Has a little keyboard, has a little stylus, cute little machine. What I want to demonstrate, however, is the gaming ability of this device. Now it has this little nub right over here. You may just be able to make it out. You can control the mouse with that. So it actually lends itself for 200 two-handed gaming as a handheld. These are the buttons right there. And if I just go over here, you can see I have a collection of some good old games on there by GOG.com. Some of my personal favorites. So let's try Planescape Torment, which is one of those awesome classics. It actually works really well on this little machine. Um, I don't actually specifically have to make a new life. I was busy with an existing one. Where I just uh, spoke to Dianara. As you can see, I don't have, have the portal key to progress out of the mortuary. But, as you may be able to notice, this, uh, this runs buttery. It is amazingly, amazingly great, actually, with these controls. You can e either use um, the pen or touch as input, so I can you know, tap Dan R to initiate dialogue, which is really satisfying. But, as you can see, I've actually modded the UI and resolution so it exactly fits the via screen. The text is a bit bigger because the pixels per inch on this thing are 264, which is about um, the same kind of incredible pixel density you see on devices like the iPhone 4. It really needs larger text. Um, but yeah, as I, as I said, you can control it with the touchscreen. Uh, the only issue is that you will have to pan using the keyboard like this. Um, that's why you can also use the little touch knob, which works really well if you have two hands available. So this game actually works really, really great. Um, you have access to inventory and, and, and other screens. They're all a bit small and propped up like this due to the widescreen mod, but it works amazingly well. So let's look at something else now. I've heard some requests for um, Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate, but Toad Annihilation is also a really, really great game. It's it's a strategy game, and it's a bit more intense, but if you have your um, two hands available for it, it's very, very easy easy to play. Um, at some of the more intense moments, it can get a bit frustrating, but it's, you know, it's portable Toad Annihilation. What, what else can you want? If you go into the new campaign screen here, you can actually touch it like that which is very very cool it responds to touch and that's yeah that's just awesome um, yeah, if you go to arm here we've got the obligatory mission selection screen uh, let's see I think beach head on Thalassian would be pretty cool loads up super fast and there you have it. Super snappy, no problems whatsoever. And once again you can pan using this or the arrow keys and it, it works out pretty well. If you have two hands available it works a lot better. Yep, works great. You can use the function keys to exit out of this. And for a last thing, I'll show you Baldur's Gate, the 2-2 two -two mod, which unifies Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2 into one game. Let me just 
Um, you may notice, you know, there is no CD drive in here. So what I do is actually st storing the discs for Baldur's Gate because Baldur's Gate 2 doesn't have a GOG version yet, which means every legit version you have of it requires a CD. I'll have to trick it into thinking I actually have a CD. So the CD uh, images, the disc images, are on here because space is really a luxury on the tiny internal disc of the Via UX. So we plug that in there, you open it, Here's also my uh, good old games installers around there. Let's uh, mount this. So now it's mounted, I can actually open 2-2. Two -two. Looks gorgeous on the screen, really, really good. And even the angle of it. You can view it on pretty much any angle and it works really well. So yeah, that's um, Spolder Gate's intro. This little thing, and this right here is a friendly arm in. No, I'm leaving. Uh, sorry, behind. Didn't want that? Yeah, ba same basic idea. Um, white screen mod has been installed, so you get. The nice bolts get to install UI without any stretching. And you can pan around and even command your followers by simply touching the screen. Very snappy, very good working. And these games actually lend themselves even better for portable gaming because you can just pause the gameplay at any time pressing space. Or you can set it to turn based gameplay. So that works really, really well. Apart from that, if it comes to, you know, serious applications of this little thing, um, I'm going to make a video on putting Mac OS X on these things, which is, is, is great for, for productivity, but you can also use the absolutely excellent uh, Sketchbook Pro by Autodesk. Uh, it takes a little while to start up, but then you can actually start dueling right away. I need to, uh, to set my pencil and colors here because I was actually doing human figures. So the color is a bit off, but you can do some incredibly sharp drawing on this thing. Excuse me, it works really well. So, yep, it's a great little machine. Um, thanks for watching, guys.